Hey guys, it's Grant. Time for another travel log. This time, I get to take my lovely wife with me. We're heading up to Indiana to do a fundraiser for the Lost Limbs Foundation at the Rhodes Hotel. Right now on What the Fed. Let's start out by getting to know Rihanna's skills a little bit. You and I investigate a lot. You yep. always march fiercely into the places. She seems to know exactly what's going on and who's there. I've had lots of activity my whole life, actually, when I was really young. It's just something I thought everybody experienced all the time. I guess technically an empath? It doesn't have to be paranormal either. Like, it can be any situation at a party or an event or whatever, you know. I just read, through, read that pretty good. Yeah, you read people really well. You read situations really well. And on investigations, you're usually pretty quiet. Then when you do talk, everybody listens because it's you're like right on point. The emails I get, I tell good old Renana here about them, and she gives me good advice, and we work to figure it out together. There you go. Routine. Now you know. Now you know. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Do I ever drive? Yes, I do. On long trips like this, I navigate while Rihanna drives because clearly she's a better driver than I am. But I felt like she was starting to get tired and nodding off, so we decided to stop at Wendy's to get her something spicy to wake her up. Uh, two number eight spicy. Anything else? No, that's spicy enough for me. That's it. Spice it up, Ray. Let's do it. Whoa. Whoa. Is that spicy? No. Whoa. 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 Bonus fries. It's good, It's not bad? It's not bad. So it's good. It's, it's good. With our bellies full of spice, we finally made it to Indiana. We made a quick detour to pick up everybody's favorite alien, Lindsay, who magically teleported into our car. It's so convenient. We paid our respects to the man and finally made it to our hotel. Oh, thank goodness that fainting couch was there. Then off to find Tots and warmth by the fire. Then back in the car where we finally arrived at the Rhodes Hotel. I couldn't wait to get inside and see my friend, Mike Couch. Good old Mike Couch right here. Right here. Awesome. No, Mike Couch. Awesome. Movie awesome. room. <laughs> the Rhodes Hotel was built in 1893 in Atlanta, Indiana. It was a layover stop for the railroad, but converted to a brothel and speakeasy during Prohibition, and supposedly visited by people such as John Dillinger and Al Capone. People claim to see lights turning on and off, hear voices, and see apparitions of men, women, children, and dolls. I found something far creepier. The elusive Chad Lindbergh. I've known Chad for a while, but this is our first time investigating together. Finally, after all these years, we had to make it big. We had to make it epic. We had waited our whole lives for this moment. We had a lot of catching up to do. We had to condition our bodies, and our minds, and our will to be able to work together as well-oiled machinery. Then we had a blinding moment of clarity. It couldn't just be us. We needed the power of everyone at the event to make this work. We documented this epic event for Instagram, Twitter, and all social media worldwide. We were searching deep for motivation, for answers to our own burning questions. Why do we investigate the paranormal? Some investigate to find their own answers. Some investigate to find perfect evidence. Through our training and focus, we figured it out. And we were ready to head in and take on the Rhodes Hotel. Why did this group investigate? For the glory of love. But we had to calm down for a minute and stop being 12 years old while the news interviewed us about the event. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then Mike sat everyone down and explained what Lost Limbs is all about and exactly where the money they spent on this event was going. It's going right to these kids. Kids outgrow these prosthetics like they do shoes, only they cost thousands of dollars every time. One of the first things we read is CJ and Run. These kids can't do that without our help. If these were my kids, I'd want help too. Needless to say, everyone was touched. But to lighten the mood, Mike decided it was time to get Fast and Furious. You may know Chad Lindbergh as Jesse from Fast and Furious. But guess who won? That's right, yours truly. I was fast and he was furious. Then we gave the ladies a chance to defend our honor. And Rihanna did well as she beat everybody's butts. Then we told some stories, answered some questions, had a few laughs. And before you knew it, it was dinner break. Time to fill our guts before the investigation. This crazy place was visited by clearly the most interesting people. 
and chat. Then it was back to the Rhodes Hotel. After a quick rundown of the ground rules, it was lights out and time to investigate. But you weren't there, so we're not telling you what happened. Meh. The next morning, Rhiann and I woke to the quiet majesty of a graceful snowfall. We were excited. Precipitation of any kind usually heightens activity. Whoa, but this was getting serious. Was this even going to happen today? Thankfully, the snow lightened up, and we were able to proceed safely to Tots. Uh, I mean, Rhodes Hotel. Oddly, there wasn't any snow there, nor were there any people. Was I going to be investigating alone? Seemed like a perfect time to sneak a donut. Oh. Huh, apparently donuts summon Chet. Eventually, everyone else showed up too, and they brought things to sign. Strange things to sign, and we signed them. Then we told stories and answered questions until finally, we were ready to go. Is this a video? Sure it is. It's the best video. And it was time to investigate. Whoever knocked the crutch over last, like, uh, a few months ago, can you knock that over again? Now, I wasn't going to show you any of the investigation, but here's a peek. Mike Couch just asked the entity to knock down his crutch, which was up on the staircase. And here's what happened. <laughs> After the investigation, we reflected on the noises we heard, the shadows we saw, and the conversations we had as I passed out cookies brought by Sandy. She's the one with the blue hair. Now Mike Couch is possibly the nicest guy I've ever met, and his charity is a miracle to these kids and their families. Check them out at lostlimbsfoundation.org, and come to one of his events. You won't be disappointed. But you didn't come to this one. But you will the next, right? And a special thanks to Crystal, Rihanna, Lisa, Mike, Robin, Lindsay, and Chad for their help making this video and for supporting the charity I love so furiously. Thanks for joining me on this journey, guys. Stay weird. <laughs>